Again, today we're going to be talking about Termux, which I talked about in the last video, which is an application you install on Android. And what it is, is it's a terminal, uh, but it's more than just a terminal. Again, a lot of Android applications, there's a lot of terminal applications out there, at least a handful of them. This is more than just that. It's not just giving you access to the shell on your Android system. It's actually giving you this whole new environment, which is very similar, but not quite a chur root. Uh, and it has a package manager. You can install, uh, well, I think Bash is the default shell. I have Z shell installed on mine with Termux. Termux, or sorry, Tmux to split the screen and have uh, different sessions going in one at once. Um, I have FF MPEG installed, MPV installed, uh, I have curl installed, I have all my core tools. Um, it is just a great environment to be working with. And although it's not quite a chur root, um, most of the packages that I use daily are in there, and as long as I don't need root access, although you you, I, you could probably root your phone and use it, but I, I don't need to in most cases on this, you can um, do a lot with it. You can even get, uh, I should have said this in the last video, you know, you have SSH in it, you can also set up an SSH server on it, and then you can SSH into it, uh, which is great if you want to be doing stuff on it and want to be using your desktop or laptop keyboard to type stuff on your phone. Um, but today we're going to talk about another package by the same maintainer, and it's the Termux API. And what the API package is, once you install it, you go then into Termux and you run the Termux dash API setup command, whatever, it's something like that. Termux, do Termux and then hit tab a couple times to autocomplete, and you'll see when it says API. Once you run that, the API is set up, and then you can interact with Android. Uh, you can then access things like the camera, the file system, uh, your, you know, your SD card storage in most cases, uh, your clipboard, you can open applications, you can open links, and it makes it very useful for you to write shell scripts that can break out of that shell, that environment there, and access and interact with Android. Now, in the last video, I talked about how you can install Termux either through the Google Play Store or through F-Droid. Now, it's very important you remember which one you did because when you go to install the Termux API application, you have to install it from the same place. There was one point where I installed Termux, uh, apparently I installed it from Google Play for some reason, and then I went to install the Google API from F-Droid, and it wasn't working. You have to install them both from the same place. But once you do that, then you're able to access this stuff. Now, of course, the first time you try to access something like the clipboard, or you can actually use, uh, the API has um, settings to, uh, where you can actually dial your phone, send text messages, text, uh, check what text messages have recently come in. Of course, the first time you run each one of these, Android's gonna pop a box uh, you know, saying Termux is trying to access this, do you wanna allow it once you allow it? After that, you don't have to say that anymore. And you can write a script that automates and send texts, or dials your phone, or grabs something from the clipboard and uses it in a shell script, which I do all the time. Uh, you can then, uh, it then, if you run the storage one, you can then have a folder in your home directory in Termux that accesses your storage on the Android device. And then you can access your photos, and you can actually run programs like Image Magic in Termux and do modifications and changes to your photos, or FFmpeg to modify the um, uh, your videos, or you can use something like MPV to play your music files, which is great. It's all stuff I do, and I actually have scripts for that I can do with slight modifications uh, on my phone to get them to run, and it accesses everything great. So be sure to go and install Termux, check out Termux API, um, and it is just a great, it does more than I'm just talking about in this video. Maybe I'll, I'll talk about that more. I will talk about that more uh, in future videos. But I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as always. I hope that you have a great day.